making their debut here in BCW. Dude, this is going to be a statement win for sure. Referee in charge, Nick Shin. Bell's wrong. Here we are. The third and final qualifying match for Queen of the North. Emily J. Notorious Mimi. Emily J taking off the distraction. Well, Notorious Mimi had her back to her talking to the crowd. But Actually, I think Notorious Mimi is taking advantage of the fact that Emily J is so green. Uh, but you know what? Emily J is no stranger to, you know, the ring in general. <laughs> she's, seen, she's been a big fan of wrestling for a long time. She's no, she knows how the game works. Beautiful shoulder takedown there by the stunner. Goes over. Tough the clothesline. Cross body. Connects. Hooks the leg. Good it. Mimi kicks out of two. Notorious Mimi is a star in her own right, but Emily J is beautiful reserve. Done the star here. Baltimore trying to make it. Make some sort of impact here in their debuts. Go for the cover. Kick out of two. Well, that's the thing. That's what I was trying to say before. When, when you're making your debut in a promotion, you're, you're essentially you're fighting for a spot. You want a spot to come back. You want a spot to get paid. Of course, you want a spot to win a championship. Both women are making their debut at the same time. And there's only one spot available, buddy. Only one throne to sit on here, Queen of the North. Oh, wow. Mimi taking Emily corner to corner. Could it be four for four? Oh. Reverses it. Elbow to the face. And there it is. Grand Slam, Mark. Four for four. She hit it. And curious, Mimi, I mean, she comes out as an angel, but my gosh, she's a devil in that ring. Still to come in your main event, Ruthless Lala defends the BCW Women's Champion against the current Queen of the North, Danny Moe. That should be a classic, Marcus. Yeah, I am wondering here, buddy, will history repeat itself? Will we see another Queen of the North winner become the next BCW Women's Champion? Does that add more pressure to Denny Mo knowing that statistic? Wait, 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 cover here. Maybe he kicks out a two. You gotta think, like, there, there is a little extra pressure. But you know, Denny Mo does not seem fates. We saw her earlier tonight. She wasn't gonna waste an opportunity against Darius Carter knowing, like, how big of a matchup this is tonight. And who gets right into the face of Darius Carter? <laughs> not somebody who's nervous, I guess. Right. Someone who's full of confidence. Notorious Mimi take it back. to Emily J. Breaking that neck. <laughs> Reverend Nixon there asking for the submission. <laughs> Mimi in front Breaking control. That face, man. Wow. Emily needs to get out of here. Trying to get back on her feet. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, no. I feel like I'm turning blue watching this. Yes. That's a chance, Emily. Emily. Oh, now she goes for the headlock. That is locked in. Yeah, I was about to say, it's locked in tight. Nick to make sure the, the elbow is not under the neck, though. I think it's probably on the chin there. I don't think the tourist community really cares about the placement. Crowd's getting behind Emily. Emily gets next to her feet, powers out of this. Emily, oh, back to her. Beautiful. Oh, my takes down Mimi. Back elbow to the face. Oh, Momentum have shifted here, Marcus. Absolutely, she needs to ride this momentum. Oh, so the, ooh, running forearm to the face. Hold on. Oh. Connects. Could it be it? Going to the finals. Two. Mimi kicks out at two. Oh, no, no. Someone as decorated as Notorious Mimi. You got to do more than that to move on to the finals here of Queen of the North 4. I'm going to kick to the gut. Let's go for the stunner. Blocks out of it. Oh, oh nice wow. little kick to the chest. Oh, can we go for the... Ironman Flapjack. Wow. Not connect. This is it. Usually, thanks for coming. Victoria ah, Beanie makes her advances to the finals. Here is your winner, and advancing to the Queen of the North match, Notorious Beanie.